What's up, everybody? This is the Force of Nature Spiritual Awakening, and today we will be discussing the hoes and sluts indicators, and this is part two. So this is for anybody who is a little hoish, a little ho like, a little jump, a little pop, a little bow bow, okay, a little ho bag, okay. So these are some indicators. I did part one. If you didn't see it, please check it out. And this is part two. So we have Venus conjunct Uranus. Venus squared Uranus. Venus opposite Uranus. Moon conjunct Uranus. Moon squared Uranus. Moon opposite Uranus. Venus conjunct Mercury. Venus squared Mercury, Venus opposite Mercury, Venus in Aries, Venus in the first house, Venus in Pisces, Venus in the 12th house, Venus in Capricorn, Venus in the 10th house, Venus in Aquarius, Venus in in the 11th house. Uranus in the 5th house. Aquarius ruling over the 5th house. Venus in Scorpio. Venus in the 8th house. Mars conjunct Mercury. Mars squared Mercury. Mars opposite Mercury. Pluto in the 2nd house. Scorpio ruling over the second house. Sun conjunct Uranus. Sun squared Uranus. Sun opposite Uranus. So when it comes to the Lilith placements, um, mostly all the Lilith placements can have a little bit of um, that little hoe, that little slut aura to it because it is linked to um, like your raw sexual nature and, and obsessions and fantasies that you want to do and put out to the forefront, okay? So it's no need of me really spitting those out, okay? Because every Lilith placement has a little bit of that in there. That, that shit can go down. So Pluto in the fifth house. Leo ruling over the fifth. Scorpio ruling over the eighth. Yep, Scorpio ruling over the 8th, which would also indicate Pluto in the 8th house. Pisces ruling over the 5th house. Venus in, Venus in Scorpio, Venus in the 8th house. Libra stellium, 7th house stellium, Aquarius stellium. 11th house stellium, Gemini stellium, third house stellium, and Venus in Aries, Venus in the first house. Okay, so I'm gonna leave this on the snow for now. Y'all check it out. See if you got some more of these. Okay, if you got a couple of them, you don't need to go crazy. If you have majority of them, we already know what it is. Anybody wanna get their chart analyzed? Please set me up. Anybody want to donate to the channel, please feel free. So this is a force of nature. Spiritual awakening. Love is love. Peace and blessings to you all. And I will see you in the next one.